Hello, I'm Sherman Mishak, proud superintendent of the Bedford City School District. In Bedford, we take pride in preparing our students for college and life after graduation. We know that it's essential for our students to have the skills they need in order to survive in an ever-changing global society. We see successes each and every day in the Bedford schools. They are a result of the high standards we set for student achievement and the hard work and collaboration of the students, staff, and parents. But it starts at the youngest level, the elementary school level, where we set the stage for children to become lifelong learners. So for the next couple minutes, please join me at our elementary schools so you can see how we prepare our students for their road to success. Today's focus, Bedford's primary schools, Glendale and Central. Each school has an excellent staff, offering unique and effective instruction and programming to get our kids off to a great start. Here at Central, we have a strong commitment to character education. We want to set the tone for the students and to help to instill confidence and value within them. We're talking about developing a student academically as well as socially. Our big news this school year is that we were designated as a school of promise, one of only 24 schools in Northeastern Ohio. And we were given that designation because of our test scores. We did go from continuous improvement to excellent status on the ODE report card for last year. And you know, here in the Bedford City Schools, both Glendale and Central are working very hard to see that our students not only meet the state standards, but to exceed them. Both schools use assessments to monitor student progress. At this age, the basics are vital to ensure every child can reach his or her potential. The goal is for kids to be successful students, successful adults. We want them to be productive citizens. And we think that the way to do that is to learn some of the basic skills so that they can develop um, whatever talents they want to develop in later years. In our math program, we have our students write in journals so that we can see what they're thinking as they do their problem solving. And in reading, we focus on phonic awareness, building sight word vocabulary, and their comprehension. At the primary level, interactive educational programs are an important part of the learning process to keep kids engaged and improve achievement. Things are very different in the schools today. We provide a lot of different manipulatives and hands-on learning experiences. Um, and it, it, it increases students' motivation and interest in learning. And a lot of the subjects, like math and science, have a lot more hands-on experiences today in the classroom. We really try to utilize technology to um, get our kids interested and to um, get them prepared for the 21st century. We see a lot more participation when technology is involved. We see a lot more excitement in their learning when technology is involved. At the primary schools, parents and community members are encouraged to get involved. At Central, each classroom recognizes one parent a month who is making a positive difference in their child's life. And at Glendale, a partnership with U.S. Bank Home Mortgage allows employees to tutor kids in math each week. The benefit is the children um, are supported in the areas that they need assistance in math and for our employees it's giving back to the community. Everybody enjoys coming over, spending time with the students. It's an honor being the superintendent of a school district that offers students so many opportunities. That being said, I'd like to leave you with my super tip of the month. Students, being successful in school starts with you. Get plenty of rest and eat breakfast. If you don't have time for breakfast, take advantage of the breakfast program in your school. Make sure your homework is completed neatly and that you have paper, pencils, and other supplies necessary to do your work. Listen carefully to your teachers and follow their instructions. Obey school rules. Never try to resolve a problem by acting out physically. If you have a problem, talk to your teachers or another adult first to resolve the situation. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you around the district.